Okay, before people get mad at me, let me say this. Luocho is a great comfort healer with an auto heal and can create a field of healing. He is completely skill point positive, auto battle friendly, can fit into any team, easy to build, easy to play, has a cleanse, and can remove buffs from enemies. I think he can be very valuable to newer or casual players, but here is why I personally do not value him as highly. Luocho is purely a healer, and from what we have seen in Genshin, characters that only heal will eventually be outpaced by characters who heal and add additional supportive utility or powerful damage. We quickly saw the same thing even in Star Rail when Fu Xuan and Huo Huo released. The reason pure healers fall off or age poorly is, is because endgame in both Star Rail and Genshin is time gated. In Star Rail scenario, it's turn gated, meaning you have to clear within a certain number of rounds. And ideally, you want each character in your team slot helping you to finish the fight faster. Luocha doesn't provide much supportive utility outside of his healing, and healing isn't going to kill enemies faster. At least not yet. Maybe when a Farina type character comes out, we may see some rise in his viability, but even then, there might be better options out there by the time that comes out. So to go a little deeper into why I don't feel he has immense staying power, he doesn't improve your team's damage. You can't control his auto heal. It triggers when a character falls to 50% or below. So using him with someone like Blade will kind of troll his auto heal because he'll just waste it on Blade. Cleansing enemy buffs is nice, but it's still relatively niche. I haven't seen a situation where it's completely necessary. So it's not really a selling point. He scales off attack, meaning he personally is quite squishy. He doesn't prevent your characters from getting one shot, and you can't heal dead allies. Cleanse usually isn't as good as CC prevention, which is what Fushren has, because when you get CC'd, sometimes that slows your unit, like delays their action. And so even if you cleanse the character, they've already been affected. In Luocha's case, his cleanse is on his skill, meaning you have to either rely on his auto heal targeting the right person at the right time, or you have to use it on his own turn. And then you'd have to use a skill point, and also, by then maybe your carry has already lost their turn. Someone like Lynx is much better in this scenario because she has a team-wide cleanse, and it's on her burst, meaning you can save it to use at any point in time. So even if it's right before your carry's turn, you can use Lynx's cleanse to make sure your carry gets to go on their turn. Loach is an attack scaling character, but his damage doesn't really reflect that. He's basically just a squishier healer. His ability to strip enemy buffs is quite nice, but most people have Pella, which can do the same thing, although only to one enemy. He's a limited 5 star character for something that can easily be performed to a slightly lesser extent, by free characters like Lynx, and when you get to the hyper endgame, like 8-10 to 10 months into playing the game, you may find yourself not even requiring sustains to clear pure fiction or MOC 12, because you can just use raw damage to beat the enemies down before they can kill you. When you reach hyper investment, usually you can drop sustains for characters that we consider pseudo sustains like Ren Mei or Welt. What Ranmei does is she enhances your break efficiency and then extends the duration to which enemies are broken, meaning they get less actions. So then who should you use if you don't pull for Luocha? Well, for free options, Lynx is super underrated in my opinion. She is definitely good enough to get you through the story mode and most early content. She's also completely skill point positive if you play her right. And... And like I said previously, I prefer her cleanse to Luocha's. And then for simulated universe or pure fiction, I think March 7th is a godly unit. She can easily cheese all the hardest simulated universe with the Remembrance Path. And with pure fiction, she can easily be your one sustained character if you even need one. For limited 5 star alternatives, I personally recommend Fu Shren because in my opinion, she's like the Zhongli of Star Rail. She makes the game incredibly brain dead easy, and she's also auto friendly. I don't have Huo Huo, but judging by her kit, she can refund team energy and provides attack buffs, 
So Hoho is also a really good consideration. And maybe in the future, we'll get more healers that do something extra. So Luotra isn't a bad unit. I just wanted to warn people that he may not age as well as other characters. And we're already seeing him fall off in priority. And it doesn't take a genius to see that a pure healer may not hold up as well as more units come out that can do more than just healing. All that said, if you are an autoplay enjoyer, Luocha is one of the best auto battle units because it's really hard for the AI to mess up his kit. But I would say Fushren is just as auto battle friendly in my experience, and she can also prevent one shots, prevent CC, and provides a 12% crit rate to your entire party. For the blade mains, I think Luocha is overhyped. Sure, he can allow comfy auto blade runs, but if you build blade properly, then Lynx works fine as well. And sometimes Lynx can be better with a taunt and anytime cleanse. Blade is inherently tanky and has built in self sustain, so a powerful healer isn't actually that important. And Blade lowering his own HP will often steal Luocha's auto heal, meaning if another member on your team drops dangerously low, then his auto heal is no longer available. Also, if you do not have Blade's signature light cone and are using a secret vow, which is one of his best 4 star options, then Luocha is a DPS loss because he will never allow you to fully utilize the passive effect of being lower HP than your enemies. In the end, it's pull who you want. I just want to put this out there so that people know what they're getting.